Okay, so I'm going out. I probably won't be back till really late, like 4 a.m. or something. I might just stay at a friend's house for like three days. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. You know why? Because you're independent now. So my last video was about the cons of moving away from home. So naturally, I have to make a video about the pros of living away from home. Because I mean, let's face it, it's pretty darn cool. So when you move away from home, the parties are incredible. Wait, let me rephrase that. So when you move away from home, you can throw a party. That does not mean that it is going to be incredible. I'm just saying, because you know, when I throw a party, it's incredible. <laughs> But when you do throw a party, you don't have to worry about your two secret agent spies just spying from the next room. Yes, I'm talking about you, mom and dad. You have the independence to have whatever type of party you want and for it to just be crazy. You guys can do whatever you want and you can drink yourself into an oblivion. Not that I do that though, because I'm a very respectable human being. The second thing is that you can eat whatever you want. If you wanna have nachos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you just go right on ahead and nobody is gonna say a thing about it. I mean, especially someone like me who doesn't really cook. Ah. So having something like nachos is actually really incredible because I mean, it's just one of those amazing foods. I mean, you can have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. When you're at home, your mom's like, no, you can't eat this. Don't eat that, dinner's gonna be ready. What's your figure? But when you're by yourself, you can do whatever you want. You can just eat and eat and eat until you just a round bubble of happiness. The third thing is when you live alone, you can be as loud as you want and nobody is gonna say anything about it. You are your own person now. So you make your own rules and you do what you want in your own house. Now, yes, you will get those people, especially if you live with housemates that'll be like, can you be quiet? You are distracting me. Oh my God, inside voice. In which case, if you're getting those kind of housemates, they just need to go. The fourth thing is that when you live away from home, you can have whoever you want around. I mean, it doesn't really matter who, nobody's really gonna say anything. You don't have to ask for prior permission. And you can go out as well to whoever's house you want. I mean, you don't have to tell anybody whose house you're going to. You should be like, bye, I'm off, holla. You could just be gone for like three days in a row. And when you get back, the silence will be bliss. The fifth thing is that you can wear whatever you want. I mean, if you want to wear the same sweatpants you've been wearing for the last two weeks, don't brush your teeth and don't bath, then that's your business. I mean, nobody's going to say anything. Well, actually they might, okay? Cause that is just disgusting. Don't do that. But you can wear whatever you want. I mean, my mom used to always be like, no, I don't like that top with that trousers. You know, I don't feel like you're gonna be warm enough when you go out. But now I'm like, I, I, ah. Uh. The sick thing. If God forbid you have an argument with the housemate, then at least you know you have your room as the cut off point. They're not gonna be trying to waltz in and continue on the conversation and say something like, you know what, no, okay? This is my house, so therefore this is my room too. So I can come in whenever I want. I know you guys been there. No, they have to stop by your door and that is that. I mean, you may get those housemates that think they're all huh, big and tough and just think they can just walk on in. In which case, you just buy yourself a key, jana -na 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 -na, see you later, and it ends there, you know? The seventh thing, when you live away from home, you have huge decisions about what goes on within the household. I mean, if you guys have a house meeting, you have an equal responsibility as anybody else there. You don't get thrown to the bottom of the barrel just because you're the only girl and the youngest child. Yes, I am talking from previous experience. No, you get treated like a human being and somebody who is an adult. <laughs> the eighth thing. If you live close to school like I do, you get to make decisions like, hey guys, should we go to the pub after school? And you can stay in there for hours and hours on end. Not that I do that because I actually, I have a life, so yeah. But if I wanted to do that, I could. And I wouldn't have to worry about, oh no, I can't stay too late because I live so close and it is only a better, short walk home. 
I mean, I don't understand how those people are commuting, guys. I don't know how you're doing it. Ugh, God bless your soul. Kudos, because I really don't know how you're doing it. I could never. I could. I... And the ninth thing, you can actually have top banter with your housemates, like I do. They are literally incredible people, and we laugh and joke for so long in the kitchen. Like, literally, it just goes on and on and on. It is hilarious. So, that's probably one of the best things, I think, about me moving away from home, because I just have so much good vibes with my housemate. Not that I didn't have with my family, but I love my family. Do not get me wrong about that. But we just have that, we're all of the same age and we just have a lot of banter and stuff like that, which is great. So, you know, I really love that about them. Yes, I can be loving and sappy. Who would have thought it? <laughs> Thank you for watching my video, lovelies. And there will be a new one coming very soon. Stay tuned. Kudos. The door will knock, my door will knock, and you know, half a millisecond later, you are in the middle of my room already. And I'm thinking, how did you do that, first of all? Second of all, you are supposed to knock and wait, okay? I could have been sprawled out butt naked on the bed, and I would have been embarrassed for you just running in like that. I'm sorry, I could have been, and it is your fault that we have to stand in this awkward situation now where you were just looking at my naked body. I am sorry. <laughs>